It's Kambada, the shaman, the god, the crack baby. And right now you're tuned in to Kofi's Universe, the number one and most truest source for hip hop news, reaction videos, sports, black culture, and much, much more. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button now. Bada. YouTube salute. Gilly the Kid tells Rick Ross to leave him the F alone. Let's talk about it. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video, hit the subscribe button, click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Check out Lloyd Banks' Cody 2 review in the album review playlist. Let's listen to this audio, y'all. Listen, man, I'm only going to tell you this one time, Ross. You better stop fucking playing with me, man. You hear me? And mind your fucking business, man. Because you went on a nigga Instagram page commenting about me, calling me out my name, my nigga, for no motherfucking reason at all. This is how this shit started. So I'm gonna tell you again, man, leave me the fuck alone, man. I see your little funky ass video. I spend more money on my cow's hooves than you spend on your wife. You're probably right, nigga, because I ain't bored of our quarter, nigga. She fuck with me because who I'm blessed to be, not because I bless her with a fee. But ain't you the nigga that said, I put Molly all in that drink and she ain't even know it. Goddamn Ricky Raper, bitch. Huh? Stop talking about money, man, because money don't unlame a lame, nigga. There's a lot of sucker-ass niggas out here with money, and you on the list. Matter of fact, you the captain of the Suckers with Money Association of America, nigga, and we ain't impressed. So mind your business, because that's your problem. You're always minding niggas' business. You was minding Birdman business some years back when you was running around talking about, give Khaled the money you owe him. All right, this this is three minutes. So I'm going to break it up in a minute. He's segment, we're going to talk about it. So, so far, like he said, man, you know, Talk about giving um, Rick Ross giving somebody a Molly and and how he has more money to give for his cows and Gilly gives to his wife and children. To me, does it matter how much money you have? Okay, that's your money, but you don't know what Gilly the kid is doing with his um money, with his finances. You don't know. It's because he's not flaunting on um social media. It doesn't mean he's you know not taking care of his family. Like he's neglecting his his responsibilities. We don't know that. And you know, this this shit is funny. I don't get me wrong, I'm laughing my ass off because it's comedy and we need some humor. But this shit is about to go left field. Let's listen to another minute of this. Will you give Meek the money you owe him, nigga? Cause you got him in a 1914 slave deal, a Harriet Tubman joint that he signed when he was 19 and now he's 35. I thought you said a boss is one that guarantee we gonna eat. Well, why you ain't renegotiating with a real nigga? Thank God he fucking with them white boys. He fuck around, be broke, busted, and disgusted fucking with you. He's a hell of a businessman, though. Salute to you, Meek. But stop talking about money, man. And stop pushing that Bel Air on niggas. Because they don't drink that shit no more. I got the ice electric blue bottle. And I got the lime green bottle that floating it air like a Latin's carpet we don't give a fuck we don't want it man niggas don't drink that shit man and slow up on them goddamn lemon peppers because you're about a six piece away from a heart attack nigga leave me the fuck alone he said slow up on the on the lemon peppers <laughs> niggas about to have a heart attack <laughs> and nigga that shit funny as hell but you know what that situation with Meek Mill, that's why I see why Meek Mill said, like, I'm gone. You know, he wanted to do his own thing. And now he's he's not a part of the Rock Nation situation with MMG. And he's a free agent. Now he get to drop project and do whatever he wants to do or maybe re-sign with somebody else. Yeah, you got him in that damn slave deal. You know, that's that was messed up. Like, you know, if you a boss, make sure he's a boss too. Put him in a boss position. You know, it's lesson learns on both ends, especially for Meek. And like I shocked Meek for making moves and having the right people in his corner. And still working with Jay Z and the other people that was gonna support him, and as far as Bel Air, I don't even drink that shit no more. I, I had that shit a few times and that was it. Keep going, one more minute left. I'm telling you, this ain't what you want, like Lil Dirk first single, nigga. You better leave me alone. And one thing about me, I'm not no hater. I salute you. Your crib is immaculate, nigga. I'm talking, but your crib is one of one, nigga. Unbelievable. But the whole Atlanta know you live dead smack in the hood, nigga. Right off Old National. Two blocks away from the blackest Walmart in the state. You ain't had a good night's sleep since you moved in that motherfucker. You know how them niggas in Atlanta breaking houses. You worrying about them niggas jumping your wall every night, nigga. 
and I get that raggedy ass cow to Labor Day before them niggas hop the wall and steal that motherfucker. Be riding all that old national beef ribs for the hood. Fuck is wrong with you, man? Leave me the fuck alone, man. I'm not the nigga that you want to play with, Ross. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. CEO slash drug dealer Kingpin. Remember, we was on the same record label together. Teflon. Remember that? When you used to go to work, you tell niggas, lock it in. Then you come home, you change your uniform, you put your hat on backwards, and then you go in the studio and be a, a drug dealer Kingpin rapper. Oh. <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone, man. This ain't what you want. Hey, he said, lock it in. <laughs> he said, come on and turn his hat backwards to get in the studio. But you know what, though? <laughs> That's some real ass shit. And he talk about the cow. So like, I'm still the cow be going down off national. Man, Gilly is funny as hell, but he's speaking some truth like, Rick Ross, man, I don't know, man. Like, I like his music. He puts out great music. I, I can't sit here and lie. Like, I bump some Rick Ross shit. I can't even sit here and, and deny that. But in this situation, I wish they can actually, they can, you know, reconcile whatever's going to happen. Like, you know, let bygones be bygones. But they can be on a good side for both of each other. I mean, for both sides. And, you know, Gilly, he's doing his thing. I'm proud of him. You know, sometimes some people are like, oh, he does too much. And Wallow's the one that, that's why they listen to the show because of Wallow. Okay, that's true. But, you know, two black men, I want to see make it. They are make, they, they're, they make it moves. But I don't want this to come to know Rick Ross put out a, a diss track at Gilly. Because, you know, he, he will take some shots. But don't get me wrong. Rick will put out a track and say, F it. Or he will make a song because he has a new project coming out too. So he don't mind making a song and letting Gilly know, like, hold up. I got something for your ass, homie. You want to hear it. But Gilly, I don't think he going to say too much unless Rick Ross continues to poke the bear. He pokes the bear, he's going to be on and cracking. But uh, I just wanted to let y'all know that, you know, this is how Gilly feels right now. He's saying, leave him alone, man. Won't you just leave me alone? Leave me alone, Rick Ross. Stop messing with me. <laughs> Post your comments below. Host smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support, donate to that channel. I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, salute y'all.